Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another video here from the Off Grid Garage in rainy Australia. It is raining. I'm not. We've got minus minus five amps outside at the moment. We are generating 170 watts, and we're using 305 for the pool pump and garage at the moment. It is unbelievable. I cannot fully charge the battery to do this balancer test. It's not possible. We are stuck at close to 90 percent and it's not going any further. Well, I thought in today's video we have a look at the LED um, upgrade for our battery shelf. I think this is a pretty good feature actually for our battery shelf. And um, I'm going to put these stripes right at the back. They are this beam over there and on the other two shelves as well. So if we do some work on the battery shelf here, we can turn on these LEDs and have got some light in these compartments then. Of course, it looks cool as well. Yeah, so I bought this quite a while back. This is a three meter strip. You can buy them in any length. They always come with a USB connector on one side. And here is the LED controller or driver inside. This is the um, actual microcontroller uh, in this heat shrink. And then you've got this endless strip of LEDs. So these are the LEDs here. There's one, there's one, there's one. Always these white little squares are the LEDs, some surface mounted resistors on there. And interesting is these pads in between. We can obviously just cut them over there and then solder them together with some cable. And I've got um, a four port, very thin cable here, which is ideal for that. So we can cut this whole length here in three one meter parts and then solder them together again with this fine cable here to have one big string of LEDs. That should actually work, right? And I also checked here in the Raspberry compartment, we've got one USB port left to connect our LEDs. And then I'm out of USB ports again. I certainly need more USB ports. I should probably get one of these 20 port USB receivers and you've got endless USB ports for all your devices then. I really need something like this. So before we get started, I just want to see how much power this one actually draws. We go into the Happy Light app. Yep, there it is on now. And we can change the color. So, and we are pulling around 400. We keep changing the colors here just to see if one color uses more power. 0 0.4, 0 0.6, pink, purple, 0.7. Here it goes down. Yeah, I think it's these in-between colors. Yeah, it turns on multiple LEDs then on this little chip. That's why we have different currents for different colors. Mm, interesting. Okay, so it's about, let's say, uh, half an amp, a little bit more, 0.7. That's totally fine. And it is zero amps if it's turned off, so that's great. So here we have the very thin cable. I think it's from an old um, telephone cable or so. It's a four pole cable, yellow, green, red and black in there. And this is exactly what we can use to um, reconnect our string of LEDs. Then once we have cut them here, we can solder them onto, onto these pads and then jump into the next compartment, one shelf further down and then continue with the strip of LEDs. So we start there with a five volt connection and then we go down in the corner, come out over there, and this is where the strip goes along this black metal beam. And then it goes down in the corner inside this rail all the way down to the next shaft. And then we've got a chain going there, down, over, down, and up here then. So that's the plan. I hope it works. Okay, so that goes here in the corner. So we have to we have to cut it exactly here. Done it. So this is our first string of LEDs now. Oh yeah, that works. Huh. 
so this cable can go inside this corner beam all the way up and then connects to the LEDs over here and here at the bottom just just over there in this corner behind the bus bars but that's the length we need To cut it here again. Ah, oh, what a shame. This is leftover. What are we doing with that? Any ideas? That is very, very fiddly. Oh, wow. So what I thought we can do is use a bit of heat shrink then. Oh, it needs to be larger. So and then we can cover this with a um, heat shrink. Yeah, something like this. So the problem with these stripes now is I have to... Why is the light off? I have to solder everything on my workbench before we put this in because there's no way I can solder these tiny contacts up there in the corner somewhere uh, here in this battery compartment. There's, there's no way. So we have to do this all on the workbench here and hope the lengths I measured are correct and everything is working. Uh, we have to test this all here on the workbench. Okay, so here comes the big moment. Let's see if it works. We turn it on. Yay, it works. There's battery number one, number two, and number three. And they're all connected with this uh, thin four pole wire. Now that's easy. Okay, so here comes the hard part now. We have to put this in the shelf now. That will take a while. Uh, to get them underneath there and stick them to the shelf. Ah, what a mess already. Okay, let's put this all here on the battery. Yeah, guys, you have to see this. See there in the corner, see there's the white stripe. It needs to go behind this beam and then it goes to into this cross beam which is um, this cross beam here, which goes like diagonal all in the way in the corner behind there. And I cannot reach here to get this out. So I have to feed it in from the top here. And there's only limited space here as well. And I'm trying for the last 10 minutes and now I think it's in. And it is sliding behind, the, behind both supports. So I should be able to reach it. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I got it. Finally, I got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need both hands. Got it. Ah, no big deal. It's the sticky part. All right. Wish me luck. Can't see. Okay, let's let's um let's get started here. I cannot see if it's straight. Probably doesn't matter. I'm too f***ing old for this shit here. <laughs> Who came up with this stupid idea to have a bottom shelf? That should be all in this area here, where you can easily reach it. But this is just a nightmare down there in the corner. Up in the corner, in the bottom. Oh, gee. Ah, nee. What I have done now is, I ended up using um, paper clips. There, you can see the paper clip, right? 
this is my start and end of one of these strips. So it keeps it in position because otherwise the cable may pull on the actual strip and it comes off again. So I hope this is all good. So we've got a paper clip at the end and at the beginning, at the beginning and the end, and also down here, all the way, there it is. There's our paper clip. Nice. What a good idea. Who's got paper clips these days, right? Okay, so this was a bit of a of a mission to get this all in. But I think we are good to go. Look at this spider web. There's a spider web still. Oh wow. Alright. Vacuum cleaner will fix that. Okay, who cares? Plug it in and test it, Andy. Come on, people are waiting. Okay, here. What? Oh, it's the other way around. Sure. All right, it's in. It's not working. Okay, turn off the light. Happy light. The happy light. Go and... Yeah, we are connected. And it's on. It is on. I Look at this shit. Come on, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Lights off, lights off. <laughs> look at this though. Look at this shit! Rainbow, um, speed. Okay, there's more speed. <laughs> Guys, okay, that's a bit too much, right? <laughs> Amazing. Now really the, the main idea is actually to have it on, to have it on, um, is there no white? Standard. Where's, where's white? There's white. This is white? Okay, this is not white, this is like blue. But anyway, well this is our working light. If it's too bright for you, I can dim it down. Beautiful beautiful so when you work on the bus bars here you can actually see something now work on the bms on the balancer if you have one on all the cabling on just everything you can just you can just see now i mean the battery is fully charged it's all green then you deplete the battery turns yellow and at the end last 15 percent red that is cool. That was worth mucking around for two hours here to have this colorful. <laughs> okay, but uh, let's clean out this spider web and then close the front again. Guys, so far this video from today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this little fun project here on this rainy afternoon. It is still raining outside. Until the next video, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again so much for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Hey, watch this one here. It's, uh, it's not the main purpose of this light, but um, well, you can.